Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. On this week's show, we'll speak with women's swimmer Jordan Watson and wrestler Alec Horn. But first, here's a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. The wrestling team won an in-season tournament for the first time in six years, claiming first place at the Ohio Northern Invitational. Women's basketball upset 15th-ranked Emory & Henry 71-62 at the Duchess Watt Tennis Center, while men's basketball fell 87-77 at Virginia Wesleyan. Men's and women's swimming both placed first at their own WNL Invitational, and at Roanoke's Bass Craiger Invite, women's track and field notched three runner-up finishes and a pair of all-time top five marks, while the men's team took three of the top five spots in the 800 meters. With me in the studio is Jordan Watson, senior swimmer from Fayetteville, Georgia. Jordan, welcome to the show. Thank you. The generals have had a very good season so far. You're undefeated in dual meets, including a big win over Carnegie Mellon back in November. You've also won every invitational that you've competed in. What's been working well for WNL during the first half of the year? Um, I think this year we've done a really good job of looking, um, instead of at the big picture and the in-season goal of ODAX, taking each week by week and um, really focusing on all the little things we can do to be our best in competition. You swim a lot of the longer races, including the 500, 1000, and 1650 freestyle. What's the approach to those events, especially compared to the sprints? Um, I think the approach is a little bit more focused on strategy. So um, you can't all out sprint any of those races and do it successfully. So thinking more about where you want to go in with your um, faster pushes um, and swimming your best. The Generals do not have another event until mid-January. What's the training regimen going to be like over the next few weeks? So immediately following finals week, um, the Generals will actually go to Miami for a week for our uh, annual training trip. So um, during that time, we focus, um, we have doubles pretty much every day, and we focus on doing our hardest training of the year to set us up for a good um, conference meet in February. Before the ODAC meet, you'll have three more dual meets in 2019. What are the team's goals for those events? Um, so the main goal of our dual meets in January, right before ODAC's, is to kind of perfect our racing um, strategy and techniques. So um, we'll focus on more of the little things, like good starts and good turns and finishes, to really perfect our races before we head into ODAC's. Jordan, thank you for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Here with me now is Alec Horn, junior wrestler from Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Alec, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. WNL came in first at the Ohio Northern Invitational on uh, Saturday. It was the program's first in-season tournament win since 2012. What does that accomplishment mean to the Generals? I mean, I think it means a lot after you look at the years um, prior to this one. Um, this year we had about four champs, uh, two guys in the same weight class coming in first and second, and last year only having about one, but I mean, you know, being on top kind of raises our expectations for the year, and it's important to, you know, celebrate that and be proud of what we accomplished, but at the same time, I mean, it's not our goal to go out and win um, the Ohio Invitational Tournament. We kind of use that as a stepping stone and build upon that um, for later in the year where we're really trying to be successful. Overall, though, it has been a good start to the season. You had a win over nationally ranked theorem. You've had some other good performances. How can you build off of the way the first month or so has gone? Yeah, so I mean, the reason we kind of go into such comp tough competition at the beginning of the year is so we get our like flaws exposed early on. Um, if you wrestle weak competition early on, I mean, it's you might run all over them and not really know what you need to work on. So it's important to go out and wrestle someone as strong as Ferrum because early on you'll really see what you need to improve on and uh, get better on in practice. WNL has a very large roster. You have a huge group of, of first-year athletes. You've got competition in almost every weight class. How does that uh, impact practices and match preparation? Yeah, so I mean, we have, like you said, a really big roster this year and like a lot of different guys in different weight classes. And I mean, that kind of contributes to going with a different practice partner every single day. You get a different sense of style when you wrestle different individuals. And I mean, if you wrestle the same person every single day, you're going to kind of start to build yourself into a particular style. So with all these, I mean, individuals we have now, we're really able to change our, our looks and wrestle different styles um, because of that. Coming up, you've got the WNL Duels on December 17th. The annual Jim Kreitzer Invitational will take place next door in Buena Vista in early January. What are your expectations for those events? I think the expectation for both events is um, to win both competitions. I mean, there's going to be a tough competition um, at the Duels and at the Kreitzer, but I mean, more than anything, we're just trying to get better at wrestling and really, you know, hone in on um, attention to detail and uh, looking back and watching film from those matches 
and then taking that and riding it into the end of the year where guys, you know, we want to send guys to nationals and, you know, win the conference tournament. Alec, thank you for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. That brings us to the end of our final show of the calendar year. We wish you all a safe and happy holiday season, and we'll see you in 2019. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.